so another game I wanted to talk about was uh, Metro Exodus. And this is actually footage I recorded a long... I mean, okay, I say a long time ago, but it was back in July? It was either February or July. It was, yeah, I know it was this year, I just can't remember. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm dumb. Yeah, this was back in January. So, yeah, I'm a little late on this one. <laughs> but I had played through this game twice. I had it on PS4, played it all the way through, played the DLC, and then I have it on PA, uh, sorry, on PS, PC, and I played uh, just the mainline story. And this is just one of those series that I love, and I feel like people, people now might know it more, but back in the day when Metro 23... 2033 came out, I felt like I was the only one that was playing it and was like, bro, like, this is actually a good game if you just give it a chance. Um, and so this is the third game in the series, because uh, it's Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, and now Exodus. And this is, like, my favorite of the three. And to me, both story-wise and the, uh, just gameplay-wise, it's just so good. It's... It's like what Stalker, I wouldn't say Stalker fans, but the people who thought maybe Stalker was a little too hard like me, and you know, you can make fun of me all you want, like I don't care, but I just felt like Stalker was, since I didn't grow up playing it and just trying to play it recently, I was like, uh, this is just, I can't do it, it's just too clunky and it's just too, a little too hard. Not that I don't like hard games, and I know you can turn the difficulty down, but it's just the age of the game itself kind of makes it difficult to play and that's just my own opinion i'm not saying it's a bad game or anything but metro exodus is basically stalker like for you know new age people um where and even people i feel like who like fallout this kind of draws them in because this is that perfect real dread feeling post-apocalyptic horror survival f fps i guess that and i say survival just because you don't necessarily have to actually i mean you're surviving you know you're fighting for your life but you're not necessarily like always yeah i call it survival horror that's just my thing but um yeah i feel like it's what the fallout fans wanted more seriously it's what the people who, A, do like Stalker and would love to play this, or B, who tried playing Stalker and was like, man, it's just kind of like a little bit much, and then they'll play this too. And so, um, yeah, having running through this game twice, I did the bad ending unintentionally because I was like, uh, I was trying to not Google anything, I was trying to figure out myself, failed, got the bad ending, and... It's crazy how much of a difference it makes, as in the things that you do in this game. I mean, spoilers, I guess, even though this game's been out for a while, but there's like huge differences, as in you could accidentally let a character die, and you know, the game continues. Whereas, in the good part, if you do a certain mission, a character lives, and it's like, wow. Okay, so the game really takes like a you know, a branching off. Like, this character is dead, does not even exist anymore. And so, you know, if you do all the good stuff, basically your character lives at the end. If you don't and you screw up, you die at the end. Um, but I like the story. I like the idea of you go from the metro and then you go outskirts and it's like all these, you go to a desert, you go to a bunker, you go to uh, like a, I don't know, foresty area. And then you go to, I guess, back to the metro, but it's like, yeah, I mean, you don't go back to the metro. You go back to the surface, but, you know, it's all spooky and stuff. So you get all these different um, atmospheres, you know. It almost feels like a different game because it's when you're in the foresty part, you find, like, a bow, you know, like a crossbow, and you fight a giant bear, and there's, like, woodland people. And then when you go to the desert, you know, everyone's like, man, I'm, like, thirsty, and it's all, like, oil and you just get to see how people progress throughout the a where they go and throughout the seasons and so this game you know still follows artyom um and now he's he's been married to anya and something i cannot remember 
is I could have sworn he had the kid in the second game. I could have sworn he had a kid or something. Um, or eventually she has a kid, but... And then in Exodus, they don't really have a kid, and so it's like, what? It was just something. I, I'd have to play last line again. I can't fully remember, but... And then you don't even really see any... Um, I'm not going to call them Dark Spawn because I, that's wrong. Um, the Dark Ones? I just, I cannot believe I can't remember right now, but... Um, you know, in Last Light, and even I feel like in the first game, they were kind of prevalent. And now in this one, I swear you don't... Maybe at the very end, you get a hint that they're there. But besides that, you don't actually see them. <laughs> But the gameplay, phenomenal. I mean, everything runs so smooth. Even on PS4 and PC, smooth. Obviously, it looks better on my PC, but um, everything runs well. It looks beautiful. I love, you know, it's basically like a day-night cycle in a sense. It's hard, but it's not too hard, which you can obviously do like the Ranger hardcore mode and stuff. Um, I like the idea of like, it's not super open world. It's got a pretty big map that you explore. You go to the next area, it's a pretty big area, you explore. I like that idea. It, it doesn't feel overwhelming, it's just enough. And so I do really like that feeling. But, yeah, I just want to talk about it. Great story, great gameplay, I mean, great mechanics, I mean, everything. It's an awesome first-person horror, spooky, like, survival game. So, I would highly recommend... You get it, and it's always on sale on Steam. I think literally when I looked at it like a week ago, they had the they literally had Metro all three of them all DLC for like twenty bucks, and that is a steal. So, yeah, go check it out on Steam, or if you can get it free, you know, off because I know sometimes uh, I think it was Epic gave it for free. So, yeah, go check it out. And that's gonna be it for me. I'm out.